This is Lauren Broom, your instructor with Space Coast Pool School. And today this instructional video is going to go over the effect of high cyanuric acid on your alkalinity reading. So when you test on your test kit a high cyanuric acid, we're talking about higher than 50 parts per million because remember that recommended level of cyanuric acid is 30 to 50 ppm. So when that PPM concentration that you test on your test kit for cyanuric acid is above 50 ppm, it will affect your alkalinity. So the true alkalinity reading you test on your test kit is not going to be your true alkalinity reading. You'll have to do an adjustment using the calculation with the formula below. Adjusted total alkalinity will equal your total alkalinity minus your cyanuric acid divided by three. So let's go ahead and do a quick example below. So say we test on your test kit a total alkalinity of 90. And you go, oh, that looks great. And then you test a cyanuric acid level of 90. And you remember that this is above 50. So you've got to use this formula above to recalculate your total alkalinity, to get your adjusted total alkalinity. So our adjusted total alkalinity will equal our total alkalinity minus our CYA or cyanuric acid divided by three. So if we put that in, we'll take our total alkalinity of 90 minus our CYA or cyanuric acid of 90 divided by three. You do what's in the parentheses first, so it'll be 90 minus 30. 90 minus 30 will give us 60. And that's our adjusted total alkalinity. Now you use this number to make decisions on if you need to fit your total alkalinity or not. If the, our recommended range for our al total alkalinity is 80 to 120 ppm. So this 60 is not in range. You might have thought that you were fine up here when you had the 90, but you would be wrong because your true adjusted alkalinity is actually 60 and that's what we have to use to determine if our water is balanced or not, meaning corrosive or scale forming. Is it hungry or is it overstuffed? So in this problem, we would say this is too low and we would need to adjust this to get it more into our recommended range of 80 to 120. And we would go ahead and decide correctly now to add bicarb to get this up. Because remember, again, a quick reminder, we gotta worry about our alkalinity and being accurate on this alkalinity prior to even trying to adjust our pH.